From his workshop in Ghana to the splendour of Clumber Park in Nottinghamshire, Pa Joe's creations are a world apart in so many ways. He makes, believe it or not, coffins, each one hand-formed. Whether it's a chilli pepper, a bird, or for a street vendor who sold soft drinks, what else but the real thing? And all created from Pa Joe's imagination. I can make you the same coffee, then you go inside. You can make anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a microphone. Like camera, <laughs> or, uh, camera. He's been brought to the UK by filmmaker Ben Wigley, who sees Pa Joe not as a carpenter or undertaker, but as an artist, albeit one who knows the chance to see his work is short-lived. He could spend up to three months building a coffin and then the paint still be wet and it goes in the ground. In one way he, he's glad that he's been paid and he can feed himself but in the other way his, his hard work and his craft and his beautiful object that he's built goes straight in the ground. It's hoped this arts residency may help his business back home. Could people here be tempted? How do you fancy being buried in one of those, in a lion? I'd love to be actually. <laughs> I'd be the pride of place. Oh, well, hello. You're writing a script for me here. We don't want to be together in the coffin. No, no. But in this weird and wonderful world, anything is possible. Joe's son and apprentice Jacob is now learning the tricks of the trade, but it's not easy. The most difficult to learn this is uh, the carvings of uh, the whole construction. The carvings. You said everything, it comes from the brain, the mind. You need to think before you come to the workshop. But it's not a job without risk. A wayward axe has meant medical attention. Our Joe has made coffins for American presidents in a career that started when he was 16. Yeah. His latest work will be finished by June the 1st in time for a grand show and celebration. His lion coffin the perfect symbol of the circle of life. John Maguire, BBC News, Nottinghamshire.